the TC Electronic 2290 Legendary Box. It's actually, it was called a multi-effect, which is kind of funny, but it does multi-effect. It does delay, chorus, tremolo, panning, can we call a slapback uh, a different effect? I mean, that's really what you get. Uh, but it also does dynamic delay and all this other stuff. Most of it is a little overkill these days. If you're gonna use your 2290 for a tremolo, just go get a little boss tremolo pedal. Uh, it'll be better and you'll save thousands of dollars. I've never personally been a fan of the dynamic delays. I always feel like it's a weird, awkward, up and down thing. Um, but the delays themselves are spectacular. There's something about the way it just, the sound blends with your sound. There's people like the Edge that will run into the TC and then into their amps. Uh, if you look at Joe Bonamassa's collection, it's funny because it's endless vintage gear and a 2290 sitting on top of uh, tweed amps and things like that. This box, uh, sorry about this Cylon, like woo woo woo. That's what it looks, it doesn't look like that in person. It's totally solid. Just, that's what the camera does to it. Something about the frame rate. Uh, but this box holds up with vintage gear. I mean, it is legendary. And you can't get it anymore. I mean, you could buy one used. I bought one used, this guy, a while ago. It worked fine, and then I needed to get it repaired. So now you got to find someone to get it repaired. Uh, whew. I'm going to put a link to a couple people who repair TC2290s down here because, uh, believe me, that is worth its weight in gold. Uh, so mine was repaired uh, fantastically, I think. I mean, it sounds as, as good as uh, it's ever sounded to me. So that's what I have to go on. But like I said, TC stopped making them. They do make this, however, which is the newest uh, version of the TC2290 in a pedal. You see it has very similar faceplate and it's pretty much got all of the 2290 features if that's what you're looking for. My goal today is to find out does it have the 2290 sound. Uh, this comes in at a pretty reasonable price at uh, something. I'm going to put it right here. And then here's another TC pedal, the Flashback 2, which has this little 2290 setting there that's always been like a cool little like, ooh. Now, you know, to be honest, part of me thought maybe they just made a clean delay and called it 2290. But I've always kind of liked it. This is a pretty dang good pedal. And you'll also find this on some boards of people who know what awesome rack gear sounds like. Not that it's supposed to sound one-to-one, -one, because look at the controls. You don't have the modulation controls. It didn't seem to do that split phase thing. When you put the TC2290 in stereo, it defaults to out of phase. So your guitar is here, and then the delay is here, and it creates this huge wide sound. It's also great for adding, if you do really short delay, it's a chorus or makes the slapbacks really big. Anyway, uh, I tried to run this a bunch of different ways. I'm running directly through the pedals and the 2290s into uh, old Fender Bassman right in front, thinking maybe like that's the edge-ish kind of thing. Um, I did a more modern, I'm using the Friedman IRX for some crunchy crunch, and that I just ran out of the IRX into these boxes. And then I'm running the, uh, my little baby thunder here, the Saldano Astro for sort of a Robin Ford-ish slap back uh, tone. And that's just going again straight out of the, direct out of the Astro into these boxes. I didn't run them in series, these in series, because uh, legendarily the 2290 rack has a sound and it's like using real analog mojo and stuff like that. And everything about it's analog except the actual delay, but the modulations are analog and uh, I mean, that's what I've heard. I don't know science. 
I just know um, Pentatonix, so there you go. So, uh, you know, this is probably gonna be the most digital, uh, just clean of them. And this is uh, theoretically gonna sound exactly the same. Let's go and find out. Oh, by the way, th no one's paying me for this. I mean, if you want to, you can, I don't know.
okay, so here is my first thought, is that TC flashback to delay is great. Pretty easy to dial in and it sounds good. What is awesome about the OG 2290 is, yeah, it, sound, it sounds awesome, so do a lot of delays. Something about, you don't have to like really dial it in. It just sounds awesome everywhere. Uh, are you close enough? Yep, sounds awesome. Now I must say that is a thing that I find with hardware, outboard hardware, whether it's outboard reverbs versus plugins and things like that. It just, it's easier to work. Now the real question is, how does this sound? Now I have to go back and listen again. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I thought it sounded um, I'm thinking, keep in mind that I'm going to be totally biased. There's no way out of it because I know which one is which. So I'm coming at this with a bias. Uh, my bias totally is going to be to this old guy. Old guys for the win. I got to say, I don't love the interface. Um, it works on the hardware. You could quickly dial stuff in, but having to go from like 500 milliseconds to 160 and be like, okay. It's not as easy to dial in as the hardware. Um, I found it a little more finicky to, to hit the, the points. That said, it sounds like a 2290. So does it sound exactly like one? I, I, I don't know. That's one of the things like, I couldn't set this and that to the same settings. They just didn't sound the same. It was like one was louder, one wasn't as loud, one was, the delays felt they were, like they were kept going on. And so, um, you know, it's old gear. If I put two Marshall heads next to each other, they're gonna sound different, even if they're the same model. So I guess we're back to, I don't know. Please let me know what you think down below. Um, yeah. There you go. I'll put some links if you want to buy one and use an affiliate code. That's cool. So, uh, but if not, that's also cool. All right. See you later.